Hello everyone and welcome back to Minecraft Hardcore 1.8. I'm William Strife and like I said, this is Minecraft Hardcore 1.8. If I die, the world gets deleted, all of that great and horrifying stuff at the same time. Lots of encouragement for me to not die. So, uh, last week I did, uh, I started to work on Chateau Strife, which is uh, across the pond from the uh, primary a uh, group of buildings over there, and um, you can see that I've done I've done a little bit of work. I've indented the front door, as it were. I've also um, shoved this back. I've I've changed things around inside a little. I've also changed the f decoration for the floor, uh, and there's there's plenty of reason for that. But point uh, overall point is I've done a little bit of work, and uh, I've also changed texture packs, because if you haven't seen this series before, I change texture packs every week based on uh, community suggestions. The most upvoted texture pack last week was Jollycraft. Um, Jollycraft is a little bit low resolution for my liking. I think it's the same res as um, default textures, which would be 16x. Um, it's not bad, you know. I don't, I don't have a particular problem with it. It's just not my particular cup of tea. Uh, got a lot of uh, character to it. Uh, my primary problem with it is that it's just low res. But I, I'm, I'm perfectly fine with it otherwise because you know what? I can tell what everything is. I mean, is this stone? Uh, yeah, I use stone to make this stuff. Um, I can tell what everything is for the most part. Uh, you know, it's not a situation like, uh, you know, say, Romecraft that I used a couple of weeks back where nether brick was um, black, which definitely wouldn't bode well with the way that I chose to decide, design Chateau Strife. So, um, anyways, if you guys want to suggest a texture pack, reply to my comment below. Uh, upvote comments that you like. Uh, upvotes, upvote ideas that you like. Uh, I'm all tongue-tied today. And, um... I will figure out what uh, to use next week based on what is uh, what gets the most suggestions. Keeping in mind that uh, if you guys decide to troll me and give me a really ugly texture pack, I will uh, I'll pull creative card and say no, not going to use this, and I'll switch to something else. But uh, that's a story unto itself. Let us get a actually get on to this week's episode. Um, I need to finish off the chateau here, and um, that involves number one putting a roof on, and number two giving more character to the front of this building. So, uh, you know what I think I'm going to start things off with? I'm going to start things off by finishing off the roof. And, um, like I said in uh, previous episodes, the roof is going to be completely composed of dark oak wood, and I should have enough of it right here with all of the logs that I have. Um, I'm going to go ahead and chuck a bunch of this other, these other building materials away. Um, so I've got all of the stuff on me, now all I have to do is start working on the roof, and trust me, I'll be putting so much more detail into this building after I get the cap put on it. Okay, guys, oh my god, uh, <laughs> this was supposed to be a quick little thing to do, but geez, putting that roof on. Well, you know, I started right there, and then I, I was working on it, I was like, you know what, this needs to go up a little bit more. So that's exactly what I did, and geez, I ended up putting a frickin' attic onto the place. I mean, I, I could go up there, um, I've got the means to, but I'm certain that it'll end up in the cut somehow, but there's a whole attic up there. Um, <laughs> Uh, I, I might come back and um, and change out the spruce because I I, I don't know it turned it turned out into something more than I intended it to be but um, I might I may go back at some point and replace that spruce with uh, honest to god nether brick but for now uh, I'm gonna leave it as is and I'm gonna move on because geez this place has turned into one heck of an impressive uh, 
mansion, chateau, it's like that, it's like the haunted house on the hill type thing. Um, but, uh, now I'm gonna move on to putting a little bit of detail on the front. Jeez, I spent so much time. Really short, I've been working for an hour already. Um, you know, you know, means to put a, a I go, I mean, it figures. I go to put a, uh, uh, just a simple roof on the thing, and, uh, I turn it into a full-blown project. It's ridiculous. Uh, but anyways, let's get on to the next part of, uh, creation here. I'm gonna go ahead and pop open the crafting table here, and, uh, I'm gonna make some stairs. Uh, 16, hopefully that'll be enough. I'm gonna go ahead and make, uh, one more set. There we go, and I'm gonna make myself some slabs as well. And I'm also gonna take some of these stone bricks. And where the heck did you come from? Go away. Okay, so uh, the other thing that I wanna do is I also wanna make myself some vine bricks or, you know, some overgrown bricks and whatnot. This is one of the things that they added in 1.8. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, split that and I'm just gonna turn half of these into mossy bricks. In addition, I'm also gonna come over here and uh, make some of these slabs into... Is that right? No, that's chiseled. Um... I can't seem to recall. I don't remember. Um, you can make cracked stone brick. I'm, it's one of the few uh, crafting recipes that I do not remember off the top of my head because it is newer. But, I'm gonna go ahead and start putting some uh, more beautiful elements onto this, uh, on, onto the front side of this place. So, uh, this is gonna start with, uh, quite simply, just doing this. And actually, uh, it's, it's more so for carving out windows. Here we go. This is what I'm looking for. Uh, windows are going to be carved out here. And, actually, I'll go ahead and take some of this leftover spruce wood. Or, I'll just use this oak. And I'm gonna go ahead and nerd pole up to do this job. So, this is where the window goes. Carve it out right there, like that. And, um, I'm gonna need to build a bit of a T-shape so I can get the, um... Get the stair placement correct. So, just come over here like this. And, uh, now that that's done, I can... Hmm... Okay, uh... I think that I cut this a little bit too soon, so... I'll... Come down one. Grab one of these stone bricks. Put it in right there. Or did I? No, no, no. Okay. Um, I'll put some oak right in there. Put that in. And then, I'll take out the stone slabs. And do that. There we go. And that's, um, one, two, three tall. Which means that, uh, I believe... That the next window goes right there. Alright, there we go. That is, uh, those are the windows. The windows for the front of Chateau Strath. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Now, I'm also going to come down here and remove these two bottom bits and pop in some mossy to give it a little bit more, uh, character. And while I'm at it, I might as well come over here to the edge and, um, do something along the same lines. Go ahead and one, two, one, two, just do that, kind of randomize it a little bit. Um... There we go. It looks a little bit like, um, it wasn't put here the other day, which, um... <clears throat> really pretty much is the case. It was put here the other day. But, um, I'll go ahead and do the same thing on this side now. Put in some mossy. But, at the same time, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna bother with, uh, showing you guys how to do this again, but I'm gonna repeat that design on the left here. Oh, we Okay, there we go. All finished. Well, in a relative sense, all finished. Um, Piggy, get off of the house. Alright, so, that's the, uh, that is Chateau Strife. Pretty much finished. Uh, there are some other things that I need to do, though. Um, namely, I need to put banners on this place. Uh, some of you guys were talking about that last week. Uh, the fact that I should put some banners on the front of this place, uh, you know, for house strife. And, um, that is a good idea. That is a great idea. So, I'm gonna come over here and, uh, I've already got the wool in my inventory. Uh, it would appear that I'm missing some of the stuff that I need. So, oh no, wait, here we go. I've got the black ink. And, um, no, no, I'm, I'm gonna need more, uh, I'm gonna need more bones, and I'm gonna need more ink. So, uh, sun's going down, I'll go ahead and take a sleep, and I'll get back to this in the morning. 
Alright guys, morning again, and it's time to banner this place up. Time to put the mark of house strife on this building. So, um, first of all, I want to address um, how to make matters and stuff. This is all things that are uh, new in Minecraft 1.8. So, let's start off with how to make a banner. Well, pretty simple. It's the same as a sign, except you use wool instead of wood, and you get a white banner. Now, here's the catch, okay? That says white banner, and that's because this is plain old standard white wool that you get off a normal sheep that hasn't been dyed or anything like that. However, you can make a different colored banner by using a different colored wool. Now, I want to make my uh, banners light gray to start with. So, well, not gray. Um, not light gray, just straight gray. So I'm going to combine ink with bone meal. Luckily, I'm on the edge of a pond. It's not that big of a problem to be able to dye this stuff. All right, there we go. Now I've got 24 gray wool, which is exactly what I want, because I want four of these banners in all. So go ahead and click that. Now I've got four gray banners. Now that's not all. What I can do next is um, now uh, it's it's going to be re it's really difficult to see because this is a small icon and uh, it's a dark banner on a really bright background. But what I want to do is I want to put a gradient on it. Okay. Now a gradient is where you get this uh, soft and easy. Uh, transition from one color to another. Now, um, in order to paint this with a gradient, it uses the color of the banner as the background, and then you choose what to overlap on top of that. So what I want to do here is um, give it a transition so that it goes from the light gray on the top down to black on the bottom. So to do that, I just do this. Now, as you can see, I can put... Um, there's a little colored block in the bottom. There's a colored block there. And now... Um, Colored block on the top right. Uh, you can do a whole lot. There, there are so many crafting recipes with this, but this is what I want to do. It's going to make a black base gradient, and that means there's a gradient with black at the bottom. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just put uh, some more in there. Okay, go ahead and paint them all. There we go. Now I've got four banners, and as you can see, this is this is indeed a, a transition from gray to black at the bottom. So I'll go ahead and take that back up. Okay, so now that that's done, it's uh, time to get to the fun part. Ooh, hey, they're not, uh, they're not stacking anymore. Okay, well, I'll keep that in mind. Uh, now for the fun part, the part where I put in the symbol of House Strife. Now for this, I'm gonna need... Da -da -da -da, the number one color! Red. Now, um... There's something else that I'm also going to need that I don't actually have on me. Uh, I could run back to the house, but um, instead I'm just gonna whack some bone meal down and um, hope that I get what I'm looking for. All right, jeez, I really made a uh, serious mess of the front yard with all of that bone meal. Now, um, what I went back to base to grab is um, these oxide daisies, okay? And what you really need to keep track of here is that they have this. Uh, they have this really big prominent head on them. So, uh, the, you know, the, the, the flower petals and whatnot. So, that's, um, oxide daisies are one of four possible flowers that will randomly spawn whenever you whack grass blocks with bone meal. Um, the other three being azure bluettes, uh, daisies, and poppies. Uh, the azure bluettes and the oxide daisies were added in the 1.7 update. Uh, so, you know, the more you know. Now, uh, to do this, I'm gonna put the oxide daisy in the left. This usually makes light gray dye. But um, I'm going to put the gray banner at the bottom, and then I'm going to take the uh, rose red and pop it right there. And as you can see, that's made an oxide daisy kind of sunburst in a red color. And I'll go ahead and click there. I'll take these up, and um, for that matter, I'll go ahead and make some more rose red for myself. But there we go. There's the banner of House Strife. That is the banner of House Strife, okay? So... <laughs> Fantastic, looks great. I'll go ahead and put these banners down next to it so you can get a, a feel for what I'm doing here. All right, there we go. So I've got all the banners done. Now, just go ahead and put them up on the support pillars. Not entirely certain if I want them lower or higher. This is, uh, you know, a bit of a, a trial and error type process. Go ahead and put them down like that. And um, while I'm at it, I think I'm going to remove... Well, actually, no. I'll leave these torches, and I'll go ahead and pop down the banners right there. Whoops. Gotta be careful. 
with your uh, angle. There. House Strife. That's beautiful. That is absolutely phenomenal. Alright, guys. Chateau Strife is done. Well, not completely done. I, it's it, There's still stuff left to do to this place. I can uh, do a lot of other, of other things to make it look better. Uh, for that matter, I, I'm not entirely certain that I want to leave those uh, spruce wood walls that I used on the attic. I might go back and replace them with honest to god nether brick. Um, but for the most part, this place is finished, okay? Um, and it really comes down to the fact that I think that I've been working on this particular build too long. It's been two episodes now. Um, but to be certain, if you guys think that this is not finished, if you think that there should be more, uh, things added to it to make it more immaculate, you know, work on the grounds, uh, furnishings inside the building, uh, believe me, I have all of the interest in, uh, doing just that. But at the same time, I'm not entirely certain that, um... It's... I don't know that I'll come back and do that. I, I, I really do want to. Maybe I could turn it into a tiny side project for each episode. But for, for now, I feel that um, I, I've spent too much time working on this chateau. Uh, but by all means, I do want to come back and uh, improve it some. So um, if you guys think that there's anything particular that I should do to this place to make it look better, let me know down in the comments, okay? That'll be very, very helpful to uh, make this wondrous mansion, Chateau Strife, look even better, uh, you know, ground improvement and whatnot. So, um, that's that for Chateau Strife for now. Maybe I'll come back to it later. Um, but there's more stuff that I need to do, okay? And, um, specifically, it was the fact that, uh, well, I figured out, uh, between last episode and this episode, um, that, you know, I, I spent an entire episode working on Chateau Strife last time, and I thought to myself, geez, you know, that's kind of junk um, that I spent an entire episode working on that and it's not done uh, I might want to think about my next adventure and it got me thinking about a bunch of other stuff um, so here's the deal okay there are adventures that are still to be had out in the world um, but naturally you have to prepare for these things you have to be ready for it so I'm gonna come over so I'm gonna come back to the wondrous detox tonics and I'm gonna crack into the chest down here that we've got and I have potions of night vision potions of water breathing, and potions of swiftness. Now, I'd like to have um, health restoring potions as well, but again, I don't have glistering melons, which um, are melon slices that are uh, surrounded by golden nuggets. Now, I would really like to have those to restore my health for my adventures I'm going to go on next time, but uh, I don't have them. Because the world is so flippin' big, and it's because of biome generation that was introduced, I'm pretty sure in 1.8 here, it may have been introduced last time in 1.7, I don't quite remember, but um, there was an algorithm introduced that made it um, impossible, or significantly reduced the chances that, say, a desert biome would spawn next to a tundra biome, or, uh, you know, an extreme hills or mountain biome. Um, really you know, uh, in older versions of Minecraft, it was very possible for you to find something like a desert sitting right next to a snowy, uh, biome. And that was just kind of odd, so they introduced, you know, this new algorithm to try and prevent that from happening so that the biomes would, you know, transition between each other more effectively. Uh, the problem is that whenever you spawn into, like, a plains or a forest or a mountain biome, well, good luck finding a jungle because that's a much warmer, uh, climate. So, um, it got me thinking, you know, if I want to find a jungle or an ocean or anything like that, I'm going to have to go a really, really long way to find one of those. But then I thought to myself, oh, wait, I remember hearing something about the nether. The nether is a smaller place. And, um, that's actually the way that it works. There's a actual block to block discrepancy. For every eight blocks you travel in the overworld, you travel one block in the nether. Which means that if you travel 10 blocks in the nether, you travel 80 blocks in the overworld. Which got me thinking, if I need to travel 2,000 blocks away, why don't I just build a highway in the nether? Which is exactly what I did, and I haven't seen the textures from uh, Jollycraft in this dimension before. A lot of noisy pigmen. So I came to the nether, and I dug a long highway north. And this is exactly what I'm going to use to embark on my next amazing quest. I have enough steak on me, I have the potions on me, 
The adventure is ready. It can be done. All I have to do is go out and do it. So, that's what's going to happen next time. You love, you love this? I even managed to put this, um, uh, highway right over another fortress. Look at this. It's incredible. And actually, while I'm here, I might as well, uh, kill some slimes. Because, um... Whoa. Ooh. I mean, why not? If I can find, um... You know... Ah, magma. Ah, magma cream. While I'm here, why not? Right? Ah, go away. Go away, go away, go away! There's so many of you! Little slappy bastards. Jeez. Come on, go, 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 go. Go on. There we go. Ugh. There we go, got rid of them all. I even had a- I, I had a particularly difficult time building this highway because it goes right over a, um, a blaze spawner right there that I had to take the time to cage up. I- I nearly died several times over in this place. So... Get a little munching. There we go. I have a highway in the nether, and it's completed. Just head down these steps, and here we go. I stopped, and here we go, I stopped building the highway right at the edge of a enormous lake of lava, the bottom of the nether. And here we go, I built myself another nether portal, and I cannot believe how lucky I got, guys, because as soon as I leapt through this thing, I popped out here. Now, I built the house over the portal, but you won't believe where this thing ended up spawning. On an island. On an island right inside of a bay, sitting on the ocean. So look at that, guys. That's why I've got water breathing potions. It's because my next adventure, my next epic, wondrous adventure, next time, is going to be through a water temple. I'm on the ocean, there has to be one out there. I'm gonna craft myself a boat, and we're gonna go looking at what type of treasures and wonders can be found in a water temple. So, until next time, guys, I'm William Strife. Suggest texture packs below and get ready for adventure. I'll see you next time. Bye.